guys, what's going on? My name is Ryan, I play chess, and put my videos on YouTube for you. Uh, I've got a awful game by me <laughs> here. Uh, I wanted to share this here today. I've got a King's Gambit <clears throat> that goes absolutely right into the very end where I try to be a smartass, and uh, you'll, you'll see how it goes. Anyway, so I start off with my e4, and this is the typical King's Gambit declined. And I start off immediately threatening this f-pawn here, and I just take right here. Um, and he takes back with the knight, and I drop this guy back. I'm not afraid of him taking here with the knight, because that would help me develop another piece into the game. He does that, and I force this knight to capture here. Um, I take back, castle. If he takes with the uh, knight, I'll just pin it here against the queen and win a, win a piece. Um, so he tries to get my bishop out of there, and I just kick this knight, because this f-pawn, notice I have three attackers on it, uh, I just want to threaten it as much as possible. Um, he scoots it back here, which is, you know, a... Uh, under promoting square there, and right now my attack on this pawn is very strong here. Um, so what I do next is I want this queen out of the way. I recapture here, and he could have just simply, you know, captured back. I'm not sure why he did. This is a huge mistake, and it takes me from a 1.5 advantage to a 7.3 advantage. Um, I go ahead and capture this pawn over here. He captures my pawn with check. I move my king out of the way, and he threatens to take my knight or my, my queen here. I take here with the pawn, which is a pretty ballsy move because he can take here, take my queen, but um, I will just queen another piece. And uh, so what he does is he decides to defend with the queen, which I love. I'm already going to, you know, push this pawn up or capture this um, capture this rook here. So he brings his queen over here, which I like because it allows me to just trade off queens. He recaptures with the pawn, and I capture that rook for free. He takes there, I take there. At this point, I'm up you know, a full rook in material, so I'm just going to try and trade off pieces. This creates another isolated pawn here. Uh, these are going to be major weaknesses for the rest of the game, even though, you know, the game is uh, over very quickly. So I start off threaten this pawn, he pushes it, threaten it again, develop another piece, he pushes it again, and I threaten this piece, defends it with a rook, and I threaten this piece, defends it with the king, and now I pin this bishop to the king. I put another attacker on this, he has to defend it now, he defends it with the knight, and I go ahead and just take. It's going to be another undefended piece, or another pinned piece, and I'm fine with that. Like I said, I'm just trying to trade. I'm setting up a double attack on this pawn, one that's, you know, not defendable. And what he does instead is attacks my rook, which is a smart move in this position. I go back and um, attack this pawn a third time. It's undefendable, and he just pushes it, and I take it. Now I double up my rooks. He's got to defend this knight somehow. I get an escape square for my king. And then I attack this pawn over here. Check with the knight here. There's three attackers on this knight now. Um, if he takes my knight, I win the rook, otherwise I just win the knight outright. So, what he does is he just takes, I take the rook, he threatens to take my rook, which is a big mistake, in that it allows me to just check, and then win a piece. I win another piece, and I win another piece. So right now I've got five pawns and two rooks to his king, and this is where I start to get too cocky. And, uh, there's 60 moves to come up, and, uh, so I'm just gonna fly through these because it's got a stalemate at the end, and I was just being too cocky with my game. This is a 1560 rated player that I was playing, and so I was uh, shocked that I won it, and I can't believe that he continued to play all the way until the end. Um, but, so here we go. So I start to get some knights in here. I'm bringing the cavalry in. Now I want to get these pawns over here to be knights as well. I move my king here because he needs a escape square. He, I, I need him to run over here eventually without stalemating him. <laughs> so I've got five knights now, just surrounding my king. The, the cavalry is here. So I check. This is one of my favorite ways to win games. This is what I used to do before I um, started going up in the ranks, and uh, this is not possible almost any at all anymore because you know I, I'm never left with an end game with you know five pawns. But, so, these knights right here are defending all these squares. <laughs> so, he's stuck on these two ranks, and what I usually like to do is check them to the back rank, and then just check them with all my knights here. It's, it's a good time. Anyways, so I start I started off, and that's my stalemate. He, uh, he can't move here, he can't move here, he can't move here because of this knight, and uh, he can't move here because of this knight, or here because of this knight. So, this was a mistake on my part. Um, I was preparing to uh, make the wall like I had right here. Um, but it led to stalemate. I was being too cocky. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this game, and I uh, wish you the best of luck in your, ch your chess games. What's up, guys? Thanks again for watching my video here today. I really appreciate it, and uh, if 
do you have any questions about any specific moves or anything about the game, please leave them below. I'd love to answer those. Um, and last but not least, if you got anything out of this video at all, or you just simply enjoyed it, I would highly encourage you to subscribe. Uh, it helps me out a lot, and uh, that way you can you know, get in touch with any future videos that I put out. Anyways, have a good rest of your day, and good luck in your chess.